Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Calderon and I am one of the artists that support Borderless Arts of Tennessee. This month of June, we are going to cover the arts of Asia and my responsibility will be Japan. Hi. Konnichiwa. Okay, the special project that we will work on is designing and building Koinobori, car kites. Welcome to our class. Autokurase, yokoso. Okay, first step, we will create a template. The template is a piece of cardboard that I cut making this design specifically, but you can create your own design. So what you use is a piece of paper, and you can use also blank, all blankets um, that you have at home, any kind of paper, okay? Depending on the size of your koi fish. So you fold the paper in the center, then you put the fish on top of the paper. Remember that the part that you will be tracing, this part has to be the part open where you fold the paper, okay? Why? Because we're gonna cut only this outline here, not in this side. And you will see the... Okay, I'm tracing this. Koi fish. The koi fish are also in Japan. The children celebrate the Children's Day on May the 5th. It's something that you would like to know. So when they build these uh, different families, what they do is they create a specific uh, fish depending on the family culture. And if they have five people in the family, so they create five different kind of uh, koi fish. So here, we are cutting this layout of the template, okay, carefully. So we're gonna have a two-sided koi fish, same size. So it's gonna be the way that we're gonna use to, when we are painting the koi fish. This is a very exciting project to do with your family and um, I will be mailing to you this template but you can also create your own template and design the one that you really like to right so you put this aside and as you can see now we have the fish that we're going to build and we're going to paint after so now we will proceed to sketch our koi fish. This koi fish, since you fold the paper that you're using to design your koi fish, use that imaginary line to build both areas the same size, same size and same uh, design on one area, and the other design will be on the other area. You can be creative. Sometimes when I'm building koi fish, I want to do in one koi fish, one side, a different koi fish and the other side another different koi fish it does it's up to you you can be creative here so what i do first is i draw the eye of the koi fish most of the koi fish are have big big eyes so you build one eye inside the other one and another circle inside the other eye as you can see here okay so i will create the gills to determine where is the part of the gills that I will create? So the head will be here, and I will start creating the gills here. Making like a U-shape designs. And once you have your gills, you can also create a fin. Sometimes the fin will be a little more um, the shape will be a different shape and then I will show you how we are going to be cutting this fin so you can create a real kind of movement a movement uh, option on your fish decoration on your koi fish decoration okay so 
Then we got the tail. So the tail, we're just gonna do some lines, all right? I am going to, for the purpose for you to see what I'm creating here as a design, I will use a water color marker. I'm using the same color here. It doesn't matter, you can choose a color that you want, but this is only for me to guide. And also, it will create a nice uh, reaction when you, when we uh, be painting this at the end of the process. So, creating the gills. And also the gills has, in Japan, they do a lot of decoration. They use different colors. They use different metallic colors at the end of the project. So, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to use um, oil pastels. And with the oil pastels, what I'm going to create is a shape. The shape, I will paint and I will trace this and sketch the gills. Okay, you can combine the oil pastels with your watercolor markers. I can do it here. I use different colors. I like to be really colorful. And the more color you use, you can get a better and a beautiful design. Okay, um, something extra that you can also do here is when you are coloring your design like this, I'm using oil pastels here and you will see why I'm using oil pastels because um, it, it is an option. The effect that the oil pastel will create in the paper when you use water that's going to be at the end of the process. On it, it will pop off the colors of your uh, design, creating something really special. A very beautiful koi fish design. Okay, I'm using that color. See? Yep. Okay, I like to contrast the colors and it will look nicer. So, one a uh, hint or suggestion that I can uh, tell you is that when you are designing your koi fish, if you use a white oil pastel and then you leave one space without painting, but it's for you to use the white oil pastel, you see the, the beautiful um, result that you're gonna have at the end of your project. I'm continuing adding color to my koi fish design and as you can see I'm leaving some spaces without painting. To design a funnier uh, koi fish I I'm going to add some a mouth and a teeth to the koi fish. Also I will design some eyelashes to the koi fish. I'm using a marker here, adding a special uh, effect to the eyelashes when I use oil pastels as well. The spaces on the on the teeth, why is it that it's a space without painting? Because this is the explanation that I want to tell you. If you color this with white, but it has the effect works with the oil pastels. So um, you just color the white part inside. You see how nice 
it looks when we work the last part of this project. So I will also do the same thing in the areas that I have the gills, that I already designed the gills. The, the good thing about designing a koi fish is that this is your creativity is unlimited, okay? There's no limit here. There is no specific procedure. As long as you create a lots of gills, okay? The design of the koi fish could be really openly free though. It's, as, as long as you have a lot of creativity, a lot of imagination to design your koi fish, you need to use a lot of gills. That's the main part of the koi fish. Gills, gills, gills. And the colorful the gills are, the more and beautiful effect you will see at the end of your project. For this koi fish, I am filling with white the spaces that I left without color. For the effect that I want you to see when we have the koi fish uh, completely built and paint and design. Okay, the other part, this is really optional. Uh, since um, you don't have to attach to a specific design, um, I like to, in my case, what I like to do is when I design one side of the koi fish, I would love to see what the design or the outcome of the design will be. So far, this is how the koi fish looks. What I'll do now is I will proceed and complete the other side of the koi fish using the same design and pattern that I use here. Okay, here I chose to do the mouth in brown color. And I will proceed and do a different color on this side, okay? The same design pattern, but a different color, all right? So, the eye, I'm gonna do the eye, this color. Remember that you are an artist and your creativity is what really matters here, okay? Your own creation and it's gonna have your trademark and signature on your end final product of your design. So I'm working on the eye here. Like I was explaining, I am using a different color for the eyes. So the color I'm using here are the color that can construct contrast and uh, I will also will be explaining what are the options we can do at the end of this project using metallic colors which is uh, something that in Japan they use a lot when they are designing and coloring the koi fish Okay, so like I mentioned before, this is the head, and I will work on the fin here. Working on the gills. As you can see, the gills have different, the same pattern, like a U shape. Okay, I'm almost done with this part of the project and uh, I will be creating the final effect on the design of the koi fish. When designing the koi no body, you have to remember that this is your masterpiece. You will design everything that you want. Do not rush. This takes a little time. That's why I am working on these sections differently, but at the end, you see that when you put all this together, it's easy for you to understand and how you're gonna be creating this part of the project. The first, this is the first step, okay? Designing, painting, or drawing the koi fish. At this moment, what I'm doing is I am continuing filling all the spaces and the gaps with the oil white pastel to create the effect that I told you that we will see at the end of this project. And This one is gonna look really nice. I'm using lots of colors here, so. I 
know that your design is going to be incredible. Why? Because it was made by you. And I am always proud of every single project that you work on. Keep it up. I completed this step. My corner body is rich and full of colors, as you can see. This is the fun part. We will get messy. So first, use an apron on an old shirt that you know you might not use after because we will get messy in this part here. Second, you have to use a liner, either a plastic or an old towel that you have at home. Okay, now next step. We will use the water bottle. We will spray our project. We spray the whole koi fish. You can see how it changes. This is the paper we get wet, as you can see. And I don't know if you can see now the effect of the white oil pastel. Can you see this? Look. The more water I put, the more pop up the pastel is. Can you see how pretty it looks now? Well, you see, after I finish with the water, then we'll cover all the design with water in every single part of it. Okay. okay. Now, option number see. one for color. I use dye for fabrics or paper. In this case, I'm using red and green. So I will spray first with the green color, which is the, the lighter color that I'm using here. And just spray it, making sure that you have spots of the green color. And you see when this gets dry, the, the color will just spread all over your design. Okay, now to create a more like funny and exciting colorful koi fish, this is what I do with the red. See, I sprinkle dots of the red color all over and okay, I like it like that. So this is what's gonna happen now. I finished this step already, okay? Later I will tell you all the options that you can use uh, with different uh, uh, mediums of painting. It could be watercolors, it could be the markers. Okay, we have already applied the final touch with the colors that I use here. A suggestion, this might take from 30 minutes to one hour to get dry. And you have to wait until this design your koi fish is completely dry completely dry also what you're going to do is leave it where you uh, spray your your koi fish and we will talk about what's the next step after this it's fun okay these are some of the templates that i have built and designed and as you can see your creativity is endless so for example in my case i wanted to build a big koi fish, why? Because this is going to be the father, representing my father. This one is going to be the mother, representing my mother. This one is going to be a sister that I have, and this is going to be me, the baby koi fish in the family, with nasty teeth. See this? So, I want to show you, after you create your own template, and after you design, paint the template, the result is this. You can see the resemblance. See how beautiful it came out with the colors? We will see this in the next step. And then we also added this effect. This is sister template. And look at the final product of the sister template. Look how colorful she is. And this is mom, mama template. As you can see, mama, and love, and mama has a lot of heels. As you can see here, and the fins are here, in this part. So, templates are endless. Okay, our koi no body, our koi fish, is ready, is dry, ready to finalize the process. So, when we are putting together these two areas, it's gonna look like this, okay? All right, so what are we doing now? We have to glue this is a construction paper. It has to be stronger than the paper that you're using. Why? Because we are going to fold this in half. So you can use either a, 
a glue stick or you can use Elmer's glue also. I use glue stick because it's faster. So you put this, I glue this uh, stronger construction paper that we're gonna put on the backside of your koi fish. We put, we glue it side by side. But this is something that I will do now is that I, in order for me to have a better like live um, koi fish, I put plastic inside. You can use paper, um, any kind of lightweight, lightweight uh, material, but you put it inside and then you create this real koi fish shape. In this part, you just press this area and wait a few minutes until it, it dries. You decide if you're gonna use more glue or just, I, I put a little bit more extra glue stick, which is really better than use the, the Elmer's glue, less messy, and just with the fingers, press this area for maybe two or three minutes, okay? Once you get that, see, it will stick, but you just keep pressing like this, and this is the tail. Now, we're gonna work with the tail. With the tail, I use this paper mache. We call it some crepe paper. Uh, we glue the tail at the bottom and we start gluing the, I use different colors. In this case, I'm using yellow, green, and red. I do one side first. Once I finish one side of the tail, like you see here, I go on the other side of the tail and glue this area it can be ready to put all the strings here and and then a little bit of more glue on the side and here here I use um, Hermes glue why because you it's a little hard to put um, to use glue stick. So you put a line of glue, Hermes glue here, fold it, press, and let's wait for, use it with your tips or your fingertips, just press a little bit until you get this koi fish, koi no body shape, see? And I will show you how we're gonna put this in a pole and let's celebrate Children's Day on May 5th in Japan. All right, once you glue all the sides of your koi fish on the part of the mouth, you can use a hole punch if you have it. I don't have a hole punch here, so I use the tip of the scissors and I press here carefully, okay? See, you make a little hole there. And on the other side, look for the same area. You put another small hole. In order for you to make sure that your string is gonna go easily through the hole, try to make a big hole like this. All right, one side and the same hole on the other side. Now you can put your string through the hole. He has a little bit of glue here. You can use your scissors to help putting the string on the side and then on the other side. Then you make a little knot at the end, at the tip of your string. Like if you were Using the tips of your string, just make a knot like you were tying your shoes. And if you're ready to roll, remember, since we were working on the mouth of the fish, of the koi fish here, you can put a little bit more glue. So you can glue this area and fingertips, press. And now we are ready to fly the koi fish. Okay, and to finalize our workshop for today, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna use a single pole, okay? With this pole, you're gonna make a knot 
on one side of your corner body with the pole, then you use your other corner body if you are making more than once. Remember that I was uh, explaining that families in, in Japan, what they do is, depending on how many uh, family members you have at your house, once we have finalized the process and tying up each of the family members of the koi fish, we put this in the pole, then we go outside and we play with this, okay? So each family will be identified of how many koi they have in their pole, and also sometimes uh, it's depending on the colors or design of the fishes, it identifies also the family. So thank you for your interest. I hope that you enjoy today's workshop, visiting Japan and building and designing these beautiful coin of bodies. Remember, I will email you the other information about the materials that you will use specifically, and I will also, I will also mail you a little bit of the dye paint that I use here, so you can use it, but the rest of the materials, remember that you might find them around home. You can ask mom and dad, and you can ask your sis siblings, where can you find either the paper or the uh, blankets or blankets that you have at home. I am very happy to have shared this amazing project with you. I look forward to see creations from you, each one of you, uh, of the kind of bodies, koi fish. Fish. Sakana. Thank you. Tomo arigato. Goodbye. Sayonara.